Look in this shot. Hi. Um, I have a confession to make. Um, you know I'm doing movie month. And you know I extended movie month. Uh, movie month will last until next week, because the Oscars are next weekend. And um, I, my segment today is not uh, about... It's not for movie month, because it's not film related. Um... It's actually in honor of Valentine's Day, since Valentine's Day is this Saturday. I uh, That's why I'm wearing a red shirt today. And um, I thought I would do the uh, a book tag for you. And um, so I know I promised something movie month, but uh, I, I will for next week, which will be the last one. So, um, so, yeah, so then uh, there's that. I'm not going to say what I'm going to do, but I will say that it's film-related and Oscar-related. So you'll just have to wait and see, and I'm not going to say any more than that. Now, this was a tag created by Ray K. Books. It's the third time I'm doing something by Ray K. Books. Um, they're, they're, they're a good channel, too. They have... Uh, they have um, book reviews, they have interviews, they interview authors, they do tags and things like that. So I think they created the fictional boyfriend tag because they're girls, so I'm doing it as um, a fictional girlfriend. So there's... Okay, question one is name... Uh, who is the most romantic girl? And I'm going to say Vanessa from A Match Made, Match Made on Madison. Okay... She's all about romance, and she's a matchmaker, so she, she romances her work. Um, she, 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 sees, um, she sees romance in people. She can hook, hook people up, you know, and it's, it's what she is, you know, and um, that's why it's called a match made on Madison, because she's a, she's a matchmaker, and so she's, um, it's, she's like the perfect answer to this question, because it's, it's like self-explanatory. You have a matchmaker whose work is romance. So it's just so interesting how how that works out. She's like the perfect answer for this question. The next question is name a girl that's dark and moody but with a good side. And I've said I've said her before. I've showed her before. She's one of my favorite protagonists. And I'm gonna say Ronnie from the last song. Because you know how, you know how I feel about Ronnie. That she's, re I mean, she. It's not how I feel so much. It's what she is. It's that she's rebellious. She doesn't really talk to people, and she just likes to keep to herself. You know, dark and moody. But she's very good when it comes to saving animals and um, humanity. And she's a, she she's a, a vegetarian. And she just has a really sweet side for things like that. That's just why I love her so much. It's because she's dark and moody and rebellious, but she has a sweet, good side for animals and nature and things like that. I just love her. I just love that about her. Okay, question three is, who is your favorite paranormal girl? Or who is your paranormal girlfriend? And... I don't exactly know what paranormal is. When I think of paranormal, I think of fantasy. I just, I figure it's fantasy. So if I'm correct or close enough, then great. And uh, I chose um, Lily. I chose Lily. I haven't read this in so long. And this is Succubus in the City by Nina Harper. And um, it's, uh, she's a succubus. And she works for Satan. Uh, she she works in hell basically, and and I figured this total this totally works. I it's a fantasy book. I just figured okay paranormal. This is the closest I can find to paranormal. So if it's if I'm close enough to being if it's close enough to being paranormal, then that's great. I'm not. I don't think I'm totally sure what that is, but um, this is. This is why I choose. And I'm going to move on to the next question. <sighs> okay, question four is, name a girl you want to tame. And I am going to say Lee from Sleeping Freshman Never Lie. Um, 
I would say I want to tame her, but I do want to change her. I she she was a goth. She she liked goth stuff based on how she was described in the um, in the book, and um, I wasn't that much into her character. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't say I would tame her. I just said I would change her. So I just sort of changed the question a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I, I say Lee, because I'm just not into her goth style. And, and her personality, when you see her talk and, uh, like, when she speaks or whatever she's described in the scene, it doesn't really seem to match what she looks like. So I just thought I would change her because of that. And I'm going to move on um, to the next question. Hmm. Okay, question five is, name a girl you friend-zoned. And I am going to say Allison from Just One Day by Gail Foreman. I liked, I liked her, but I wouldn't date her. Um, I mean, she's, she went to Paris and stuff like that, and I would love to go to Paris. But I, I thought, well, I, you know, I wasn't, I want to say, I, I liked the character, I really did, but I, I just don't think if I knew a girl like Allison that I would date her, I would, I would probably be her friend, and, um, I, I thought, well, I really liked the character, but I wouldn't want to start a relationship with someone like her, um, but she, she whined a lot, and, um, she was a complainer, and I just wouldn't want to date that. But, uh, yeah, I, if I knew her, then I would be her friend at least, but, yeah, because I, I liked her, I just wouldn't date her. Okay, question six is your soulmate, and I love this book, I love this character, um, and that's Olivia from Seven Days and Seven Nights. Um, we have so much in common. She's she's a really good she's one of my favorite protagonists. And this is technically this is considered a romance book, but I I don't really see it that way. I see this like a novel, like an actual novel. Um because she she and I do have similar things in common. She's she's a feminist and I consider myself to be a feminist. Um she works on radio and I would love to work in broadcasting. Um, and Matt, well, I, I liked Matt, but I'm not, I'm not Matt. I'm not, I'm not like him. But he, but I liked him, and Olivia, I liked her, and I, but I, I love Olivia. We have so much in common. I could totally date her. I, I would marry, if I knew Olivia, I would marry her. We are soulmates. And I just, yeah, yeah, we, we would get along very, very well. Okay, question seven is name a girl you want to elope with. But I'm going to say Isabel from Glaciers. Um, I mean, this, I'm only saying Isabel's a way of saying that I really liked the character. Because, yeah, eloping is not me. I wouldn't do that. But I did like, I did like uh, Isabel. And um, she was a good character. And that's really the best I can say because I just couldn't imagine myself eloping. I love I love wedding so much. I would love to have a wedding. I know that's really weird coming from me, but yeah, with with Olivia, I mean with uh, Isabel, um, then I would I would I would uh I would be friends with her, stuff like that. I would date her. I just wouldn't elope. And uh, that's really the best I best I can say, so I'm going to move on to the next book. Yeah, that was, that was a, a little bit embarrassing. I didn't mean to um, confuse Isabel with Olivia. I was I was just ta ta uh, talking about weddings, and then Olivia was on my mind. But <laughs> so, so next, next question. <laughs> okay, question eight is a girl you'd go on adventures with. And I, I have another Lily. Um, this is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, and by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. And the book is about adventures. It's about dares. It's about taking risks and going on adventures. It's a YA book, too. It's for teens. But I loved it. 
and um, Lily, she was she was really fun. Um, she, I mean, I, I'm not a risk taker exactly. I, but but with her, I would. I would I would go wherever she wants me to go, and I would I would, um, cause I I mean I, I'm not a risk taker, but I do like adventure. Don't get me wrong about that. I love adventure and things like that and having fun, but I wouldn't I wouldn't want to plan stuff like that. But if she had the ideas for something fun and wild to do, I would go in on it, and I would yeah I would do it with her. I I mean I would um go on adventures with her. That's what I meant to say. So. Um, and she's, she was just fun that way, you know, I mean, it's, the book is self-explanatory, it's a book of dares, and, um, yeah, with, adventures with Lily would be, they would be fun. You, 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 question nine is, name a girl you'd want to be stranded on a desert island with, and I'm gonna say Lila from Guitar Notes. Um, I love Lila, if you don't know that well, you do now. And, um, on an island we'd make music together, I would play piano, she would play cello, and we would, we would sort of have a good time, despite the fact that no one would be rescuing us. And I just needed a category to fill, to fill in, so honestly. I, I'd say Lila, just, just because she's Lila. I really can't explain more than that. Okay, question 10 is the last question. And that's named the most badass girl. And I'm going to say Huck from Fur Friday. Her name is really Pearl. Huck is a nickname. And oh, I've mentioned this book before. And I love it. And I say Huck is the most badass girl because there was this scene. I mentioned how there's an oil explosion in this book. And uh, how Gabe, the Huck's love interest, was injured. He was fine. But he was injured. But she didn't know where he was. She needed to get to him on the side of where the, of where the explosion was. And she was going to take broken glass and literally, like, she was, you could see... You can see she was about to, like, she was going to stab herself to when this paramedic wouldn't wouldn't tell her and she was like so close to doing that she was gonna nearly kill her she was gonna kill herself if she if she couldn't find him she risked her life she is badass i i love her and um yeah she was really really incredible and ris risking her life like that it's oh it's unbelievable it really is unbelievable you have to read this book seriously it was so good it, it was a great great book so that was the fictional girlfriend tag or if you're a girl doing wanting to do this it's the fictional boyfriend tag either way you choose it's just when ray k books did it since they're girls and they um, they chose guys and so yeah i uh, left the, um, there's a link in the description to the original video and as well as the questions. And I, I want to apologize for not having something movie month today, but, um, I, I just, I want, I would have, but I wanted to do this fictional girlfriend tag in honor of Valentine's Day. Um, because Valentine's Day is the Saturday, and, uh, that's, I, that's why I said, er, I said earlier how I'm wearing a red shirt, because it, I wanted to, um, just sport the color red for the segment, and, uh, so yeah, there's, um, that's why I wanted to do that, so I will have something movie month related for next week, and I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna do, but I will say that it's movie related as well as Oscar related, so you'll just have to wait to see um, what that will, what that will be like. So, uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next week.